you ain't got to ever worry about me going to Alabama. Ever. Just Mercy, the new courtroom drama star Mike B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx, directed by Destin Daniel Cretton. Why does that sound like a WWE superstar name? <laughs> Look here, uh, going to see this, I was like, all right, I bet this is going to be one of those courtroom dramas where man wrongly convicted of a crime. The lawyer comes in. At first, he doesn't trust the lawyer. Then they build a friendship. And then he gets them off at the end. Roll credits. Um... This does kind of play at first like a by-the-numbers courtroom drama, but then about halfway through, I'm kind of biting my nails like, holy shit, is, is he going to get out this shit? I guess you can call it good writing, good directing, but there was a point in this movie where I said, oh, this motherfucker might not make it. I'm not getting into spoilers here, so I'm not going to let you know what happens, but uh, off rip, is this movie going to piss you off? Uh, sometimes it will, but I think you will walk out with some satisfaction. That's another reason I was nervous walking into this because I'm thinking Detroit, I'm thinking Fruitvale Station, Do the Right Thing, um, Rosewood. I'm thinking about every movie that has pissed me off when it comes to how black people are treated, especially when it's based off a true story. It says based off a true story, and I'm just like, I, I'm preparing myself. And yeah, there were times where I'm like, ooh, fuck the police, fuck Alabama. Anybody that watched my videos long enough know how I feel about the police. And, well, I'm just speaking from my experiences here in Florida because I've had some some bad run-ins with the police here. So I have a bad taste in my mouth about them. So to all of you out there talking about, no, Rashad, you got it all wrong. The police are on the bad guys. They're here to serve and protect and, and keep us safe. Okay, I understand your feelings on that. But unless you've been through what the fuck I've been through and seen what I've seen, uh, I don't want to hear that shit. And you got motherfucking coon-ass niggas like the Hodge twins. Yeah, the Hodge twins, y'all probably ain't going to see this, but fuck y'all. You know, y'all, I, I wish we have a racial draft where I can uh, swap them out and get Gary Owens and Michael Rappaport, man. Because they the main ones swear that, you know, oh, there's nothing wrong with the judicial system. You know, uh, black people just need to stop being ignorant and comply with the officers. Man, fuck y'all. But anyways, I don't want to spend time talking about them. They're, they're, they're a waste of energy, a waste of, uh, waste of breath. Uh, yeah, this movie is, uh, it was good. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's a shame it came out near the end of the year. Where I guess, I don't know if it was too late for it to be considered for Oscar contention or what. Or maybe they just didn't feel like this was Oscar worthy. But I think it is. This could have easily made my top 10 in 2019 had I seen this earlier. But I'm seeing it now. Better late than never. But this was just a very solid film. I think it was executed very well. This is good as a courtroom drama as you're going to get. Alright, this ain't on some Matlock type shit. Like, this is some real stuff. And there were times I'm getting choked up. There were times I was getting emotional. And there was even a scene... There's a scene in this movie that gives the Green Mile a run for its money. Do you remember the scene in the Green Mile that had you all kind of fucked up? It had you just... There's a scene that equals that. I, I, I don't want to say surpass it yet, but man, that whole sequence was like... Oh, man. All right. Shit. Yeah, man. Alabama gets no love from me, y'all. <laughs> I know this shit happened a long time ago. And yes, this is a movie, so I know some stuff was kind of amped up for the drama but still man fuck alabama and the people that you know feel like it's right to just blame somebody so the whole thing about this is uh, a 18 year old white girl gets murdered they can't find the people that actually did it so they gotta blame somebody somebody gotta go down for this shit so they find jamie fox driving his truck on um, driving his truck home with his uh fake mustache on his fake pork chop mustache his wig looking like rudy ray moore from P.D. Weistro, the devil's son-in-law. Goddamn! Go ahead and dump this makes me sick. That's why niggas in the ghetto can't have shit. Holy shit, he probably could have played Rudy, huh? Nah, but Eddie already played that part, but yeah, anyways. Yeah, he has to go down. He didn't do the shit. But what I like about this movie also is the fact that even though he's innocent of this crime, they don't paint him to be a perfect person. They don't paint him to be a saint. And that's the argument a lot of people make when it comes to situations like this. Well, uh, they act like he was so innocent. No, he did this and he did that. Listen, it doesn't matter what kind of person this guy is. The fact of the matter is he did not commit this crime. And that's the thing about with, with, when black people get busted on shit, that's the first thing motherfuckers want to say. Like, for example, look at Trayvon Martin. You know, well, Trayvon was a thug and he got suspended from school and he smoked weed. 
So that justified him getting killed by George Zimmerman? Get the fuck out of here. Like, there's always justification of killing niggas or incarcerating black people because, oh, well, they were a bad person. They they did this. Or they, they, he used to slap his wife around, whatever. It still doesn't justify that. But anyways, y'all, <laughs> this is my third time shooting this video, and I, I keep getting off track because this is some real shit, all right? Yeah, so Michael B. Jordan's character by the name of uh, Brian Stevenson... He comes, he comes in, he's a new lawyer, okay, he started out as an intern, and he's seen, uh, he's seen a wrongly convicted person, and he said, okay, I want to help, this, this is what I want to do, I, I want to help wrongly convicted death row inmates, uh, get out, and that's what he dedicated his career to, and he started out with the Jamie Foxx character, and I've got to say, Brian Stevenson is, is like, he's fucking Superman to me now, like, the, this character is like, I think this character is what's missing from the black community, man, a brother that wants to help another brother with, with with no agenda, with no strings attached, no, well, I do this for you and you do this for me. Nah, man, he ain't charged no money. He got time to get to know the family, got time to get to know him. I'm not charging you nothing. I just want to get you out, man. I, I want to help you. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but we just don't see a lot of that. A lot of times it's all about me, 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 what I can, you know, uh, help myself, help myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, if if I do come become successful, but well, why I gotta help you? I figured my way out the shit. You figure your way out your shit. Like, so why should I help you for? We don't have enough unity, man. And I don't mean to preach, but that's just what it is. We just don't have enough unity. So it just brought joy to my heart, y'all, to see a film on screen where you don't see black on black crime. You don't see us turning on each other, or betraying each other, or speaking bad about each other, or none of that shit, man. You see. Uh, a genuine brother that's trying to help another brother and i love shit like that okay i don't give a fuck what y'all say i i love seeing shit like that it, it did something to me so yes will this movie make you mad absolutely will this movie bring a tear to your eye i think so will you leave satisfied i, I think somewhat you will uh performances jamie fox did a great job as usual uh michael b jordan i didn't see him as baby creed i saw him as brian stevenson and i was really rooting for his character and Tim Blake Nelson, holy shit can this guy act, man. Lately, he's he's been on a roll from Watchmen, and now to doing this, man, he did his thing in this shit, y'all. So, yes, I recommend uh, going to see this, support this film. It's not your average courtroom drama, though it does follow the formula, it does, but it's not your average court, it's not your average courtroom drama. I recommend go seeing this. And O'Shea Jackson Jr. is in this, Ice Cube's son. And I really respect the shit out of what he's doing because he's not trying to make a name off of his daddy. He's trying to do his own thing. He's 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 playing different characters and not being typecast as parts that his father would play. And and I like that. He actually did a really good job in this movie. So y'all grading this, I'm gonna give uh I almost call it, I almost cause this shit uh just cause. <laughs> What's this shit called again? I just had a brain fart, y'all. I'm getting old. Just mercy. <laughs> I give Just Mercy an A. Only reason I won't give it an A plus is because there were times where it did kind of drag a little bit where I'm like, all right, we can pick this shit back up again. And uh, by the way, Brie Larson is in here. I, she's like, you know, a token white woman, even though her character is based off a real person too. But uh, it almost felt like she was like the token white character to be like, hey, not all white people are bad. Some of us are trying to help, you know. So, hey, cool. Listen, I, I won't, I won't knock a white person for trying to help out, man. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, we need help. I don't care who you are. Help us. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but I give it an A just for, you know, sometimes it has some pacing issues, but it was still a really great film. And that's all I got, y'all. So have you seen Just Mercy? What you think about it? Comment freely below. Um, if you like and dig the content, hit that like and subscribe. Notification bell in the corner to get notified when I drop a video. Hit that thumbs up if you can. And uh, yeah, y'all, this is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.